All right, hello, 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 everyone. Good to see you again. All right, so I uh, hope you are doing all, the, all okay. And how are you, everyone? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Another uh, CS2 is alternative shows and another Saturday. All right, so let me call out your names here. And I can see Magna Rider Hype, Tsuki Kondo, howdy, howdy. Eternal Pad uh, Baron Paddox. Excuse me. <laughs> My, my throat is, you know, just you know, that's not working very well today. All right, and also, uh, let's see. Dane, hey, I need your tea. <laughs> I think I need your tea now, right now. <laughs> Six shots. And also, here we got Luis Kira 73. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, ERC Toku Reviews, thank you for coming on another show. Good to see you again. All right, so today is the, uh, uh, well, we actually this morning we received another package and from the wholesalers. And so I'd like to share that the items that we received it. And right here. Oh, okay, so I don't need that. <laughs> There you go. All right, so uh, we have received that, you know, this additional Dizer, which is, I'm very happy, and the uh, right Dizer and then, oh, right watch. Okay. So we just, I think we received like a 15 or something. And so that's a pretty good number, so I have to say that. Okay. And also we received this uh, candy toy. All right, and this is the uh, uh, Cho Do Ultraman. Well, just like a So Do series for the Kamen Lighter, we have a Cho Do Ultraman series. It just started, and so we received it. Just only two boxes, and but we'll see about that. Okay. So uh, we will talk about that a little bit more about this one here, and of course, uh, yesterday we received this, the Wizard Ride Watch is here and we're gonna do the reviews today uh that these items well the still the number is limited and so uh we first we need to work with the uh, pre-order customers and so i believe we might have the, some extras to come uh for this coming month uh, sunday activations but uh, please be aware that uh, this is the first wave and we'll be getting that the second wave next week so uh well please be patient with us all right, so not much. Uh, these are the uh, just two, uh, no, actually the three items that we have. <coughs> and also, today I like to just do that and uh, just a quick review of the our used toys as well. So, uh, uh, but then O is here, and uh, uh, it's beautiful items, and so it's functional. So uh, I like to just do that a quick review of this one. Okay. All righty. Okay, so these are the items for today, and well, hope you're gonna enjoy this one. All right, so hello, hello, and <laughs> to you guys. Okay, and yeah, Wizard Ride Watch hype. Doggy Kruger Parrots. Okay, good to see you, and thank you. Welcome to the shows. Oh, dang, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're going. I'm going to work on getting out the package to you. Canada Post is going on strike anytime soon. Oh, really? Oh my goodness! All right. And so the Canadian people, just please be aware. Uh, please be aware about that. Uh, I wasn't. I, I wasn't not aware of this one. Thanks for the updates, Dane. <clears throat> so Canadian Post is going to strike. Okay. And if they go on strike, then I won't be able to send out the package. Okay, so uh, don't worry about it. You know, thank you. I really appreciate that. And, you know, that your tea bags and everything. Okay. Hi there, Kristen Lippert the second. Good to see you again. I remember your names. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So that's the, some kind of today's menus and especially the uh, the Wizard Ride Watch, you know. So that's the very things that 
uh, we will do today. And also, uh, I think it's going to be uh, very interesting. That, you know, I really need to uh, make that a good questions today. Twitter questions for the uh, uh, the this coming Monday's, you know, uh, the CSTO talk wave. So I like to just discuss with the, uh, you know, the thanks to the uh, uh, Luis Killers we heard in chat in the chat that you know uh, recently the Toei director, uh, you know, head of the Toei, Mr. Shirakura, talked about the uh, the Kamen Rider franchise in Western countries. So that's the topic that we like to talk about it, and you know, we also hope, you know we get to we like to bring the topics and the discussions from you with you guys that. Bring it to the uh, you know uh, the Twitter questions again, and I hope that you know uh, the audience and listeners of the CS Toys Talk Wave will respond and what they are thinking about the Kamen Rider franchise in the Western countries, yeah, and how can we you know make it happen? Okay, so uh, yeah, well, send us there some messages about that and have that discussion in the chat rooms so while we are working on that, you know, the, uh, demonstrations here. And I really appreciate that. Okay, all right. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I did, you know, the Dane. I remember that in a Canadian past had the uh, several strikes before. Because I noticed that, you know, uh, I quite, sometimes I see that those, you know, the kind of warning signs and a notice from the Japan Post, uh, and they say, you know, uh, due to the Canadian Post strikes, blah blah blah, you know. So I hope that it does, it's not too much. Okay. All right. So anyway, so let's get on that, and I'll wait for that. Uh, you know, uh, let me get ready for the uh, next, uh, the first, actually the first one demonstrations. And so, uh, well, I'll be back. Okay. So one moment. All right, so today's first item, it's gonna be this items. Well, it's not really a demonstration, I'm sorry, but it's a candy toy. And we have the very limited numbers, and so uh, we are not able to open it, and but show it to you. But instead, uh, just a little short introduction about the, uh, what the Chodo Ultraman is like, okay? So I believe that this is the very first time to receive that the Chodo Ultraman for us. And so uh, let's take a look at that. And it looks like a, this is a, there are six packages and six different kinds. And I'll just pick one here. <clears throat> so there are six packages and starting from zero ones to zero six. So number one is the Ultraman Rosso. And uh, action figures, uh, it's about uh, 10 centimeters. That's pretty, you know, figure, uh, action figure, good size. And zero two is the Ultraman Bull. 
and the three Ultraman X is inside. And then next, the four comes with the expansion set. Four, five, and six are all of them are expansion kit, but it, the uh, contents are different. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Uh, let me see. So the expansion, the zero four, the expansion set one comes with the uh, three different buildings, action stage, poles, lube slugger, it says short, okay? Lube slugger short, okay, the short part. Let me just give you that just, oops. <laughs> Sorry, okay, so just a little bit more, a little bit more. There you go. So we have the uh, uh, expansion set one and lube slugger, the short versions, and then uh, pedestrian work, two pieces, signal. I think I think that's a traffic signal. Comes with that and also uh, traffic lights. Uh, well, actually, this is uh, just like a, uh, the light for the pedestrians, you know, the city lights. And also comes with the uh, gairoju, it says. So gairoju means like uh, uh, the trees, you know, along the side work. So the side work comes with, so expansion set one. Now zero five, it's in the center, okay, this one. Expansion set two, zero five, comes with the three different build buildings and also action stage. Uh, I believe the light pole or something uh, poles to keep that, you know, the, the figure stands. I think the figure stands. And also lube slugger, which is a lo uh, longer versions. And also a highway wall, the two pieces. And a car, okay? So the car comes with that in a 05 uh, expansion set two. And 06 is a kind of interesting one. Uh, there are three uh, same buildings uh, coming in, three pieces, action stage, and an uh, uh, holder, I mean, a holder pole, and also Ultraman Zero Armor, it says. Ultraman Zero Armor comes with the, in the uh, expansion says three, all right? So <clears throat> these are the uh, kind of, you know, mini figure sets that actually you can create at your Dio, your own diorama. You know, remember that, you know, now she has to sell the, the Gachapon series of the uh, diorama kit. And so together with them, and I, I'm pretty, you know, I, it's gonna be a quite interesting. You can create that uh, Ultraman world, the dioramas, and your, you know, with your, your own imaginations. So this Chodo Ultraman set is really makes it happen. Okay. So this is the, uh, something that you can create. Uh, on the left, uh, it says lube slugger with two mode change. Kano. So actually, the, you know, the lube slugger can connect it and then divide it into one, two pieces, but they uh, make it as one as well. Okay. And also on the left, I mean, I mean on the right, it says Ultraman Zero Armor final, final ultimate mode. Ni mo henkei kano. So the, uh, uh, well, the, this set. <clears throat> Does not come with the Ultraman Zero, but it says that the small is a notice here. Shodo Ultraman VS6. Ultraman Zero. Well, that's really. Okay. Shodo Ultraman uh, VS Ultraman Zero sold separately. So the Ultraman Zero does not come with the, this series. Oh, that's from the Shodo series. Huh. Okay. So they have the Shodo series. I remember that. But this one is the name is different. Now this is a Cho Cho Do series. Okay. I don't know why the Ultraman series they change the name quite a lot. Okay. But uh, that's what it is. Okay. So the figures is are uh, all painted, and so you can just you know uh, with the, these all the parts create them. Uh, the dioramas. Okay, so unfortunately, I, I'm sorry, I cannot do that, you know, the live demonstrations to make them, 
you know, it's almost imp nearly impossible uh, for the live shows. But yeah, I want you to know that we are going to make them as a set or some left out will be sold individually. Okay? So, this is the Chodo Ultraman series and we just got it. And we only have the two boxes and so we're about the 20, 20 sets? I don't, I don't think there were 20 sets, but 20 boxes of this, okay? So we'll make the kind of, you know, combinations and, you know, uh, you can create that dioramas, right? Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. And so this is the Chodo Ultraman set and then uh, I will, these items will be brought to our stores uh, treat it tomorrow, Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time uh, for the Ultraman fans. So I uh, hope you're going to like this, okay? All right, so thank you very much. And we'll be mo moving on to the uh, next uh, demonstrations. I'll come back. And so uh, don't go away. I'll be back. So, all right, thank you.
All right, what's up, people? And thank you very much for joining and in chat rooms. And then let's move on to the next demonstrations. All right, so uh, we received the DX Wizard Ride Watch right here. Okay, so the wizard is here. And I believe that you already have seen that another wizard. That's very interesting designs. Did you notice that you know, another wizard has that totally the link design head? <clears throat> Even that he has a le uh, the links, you know. So that was very interesting. So uh, wizard ring, and so uh, we'll see about that. I, I believe that you know the wizard will appear tomorrow, Sunday show. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I heard that, you know, the uh, beast is going to be here. So, uh, well, hope that, you know, everyone's going to be joined. All right. So according to the, this package and the gates is going to use the wizard right watch. Looks good. <clears throat> Hmm, okay. Oh. <clears throat> so, really like that the color, you know. Okay. All right, so let's activate the sounds. Hmm? Okay, one more time. Okay, so Maho no Ring de Showtime. And so it says Maho no Yubiya de Maho no Yubiya de Showtime. Hoseki no Rider wa Wizard. Okay. All right. So the uh, Showtime with the uh, magical ring. And the wizard is the jewelry rider. <laughs> Okay, Hoseki no Rider, Jewelry Riders. Should I say gems? Okay, so, yeah. Wizardo. And so the number says 2012. Can you see it? Okay. So it's wizard. All right, see the design. Okay, so let's try that with the uh, our Jiku driver. Okay, so uh, going to the package, you know, Gates will use it. So uh, let me just check that, you know, our Daisa. Okay, so, oh yeah, here, okay, not a foes there. Gates. Okay, let's try this. And first, turn on. Okay, gates. Ready? Hand shoot.
Okay. Now it's time for Wizard. <laughs> I remember those sounds, okay? So, it's time for the Hisat attack now, here. burst. Alright, let's try that again with the, the henshin one. There we go. One more time. Okay. So, the Wizard Ride Watch. We received uh, the pretty good numbers, and I believe that we have uh, 10 extras to sell. Uh, but, and also, the, uh, I want you to know that the pre order customers comes, uh, comes first. Okay. So, uh, please check out that our newsletters and, and uh, our tomorrow's activations at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. We're going to bring in this, uh, these items to the, our stores, and so hope you can keep, continue to collect. The uh, right watches, and also I want you to know that Dizers, yes, the Dizers are back uh, today. This morning we received that uh, another 15 Dizers, and so you can just you know continue collecting that than your you know light watches. So this will go here. All right. So, there's a lot of them, <laughs> okay? So, I uh, hope that then you enjoyed that, these demonstrations, and we will keep moving on with the uh, more of the uh, today's toys, and so uh, don't go away, I'll be back, and so uh, one moment. All right, thank you very much for watching. This has been live recording from CS Toys International. I'll come back. Thank you.
quick updates. All right. So uh, here we have received, actually yesterday, we received uh, this uh, Shokugan the Lube Crystals. And so this is just only we received one package, you know, due to the uh, popularity, I believe. Uh, so just one package, but yeah, we have the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10 boxes, okay? And so these are only, you know, 10 boxes. Uh, these items will be tomorrow uh, activated. So let me just, you know, quickly show you the uh, what items we have. And don't worry, we're not going to do that demonstration for this because uh, it has too many. And so let me just shows you the uh, variety that we have seven and eight God. okay so it looks like uh, there are eight different kinds eight different kinds and just for their quick view and this is the uh, sg the lube crystal three and the number one is tiga crystal tiga crystal Okay. All right, there's not much explanations there, but Tiga. Okay. Of course, it's a candy. Toy comes with a candy. That's one. And two. Two for zero beyond. Zero beyond the crystal. Okay. So you can just uh, activate the Henshin sounds. All right, zero beyond. And three is here. The Lube Crystal uh, is Hyper Zeton Decise. Okay, Hyper Zeton Decise Crystal. All right. Uh, the can they use the kanji character for the scary or, you know being afraid or something, you know, kill. Hyper Zeton Death Size Crystals. So that's the uh, number three. Number four is the uh, Thailand Crystal, another Kaiju one. And this time the Kanji character represents the, the ice. Ice, okay. So I guess that, you know, Thailand related to the uh, some kind of ice world or something. Thailand crystals. That's the number four. And number five is Ob Origin Crystal. Ob Origin Crystal. And interestingly, uh, the kanji character represents that, you know, sword. Because I believe that all, you know, all use that sword. Okay. So all origin crystal. And the next one is the ultimate zero crystal number six. Ultimate zero crystals. And the kanji character is strong. Okay. Strong. Tsuyoi. Ultimate zero crystal. And next one is the seven uh, Gaia SV crystal. I always wondered, you know, the they have, especially the Gaia, there are many different versions, right? Gaia SV, what's that SV stands for? I really don't know. Well, anyway, so uh, the kanji character, it says Zetsu, so I believe that will be extreme something, okay. So Gaia, SV Crystal. Now, this is the last one, and number eight, King Crystal. Well, it's very easy to guess. The kanji character is King. Oh, King Crystal. All right. So these, they are the uh, uh, SG, the Lube Crystal 3, and uh, with the Lube Gyro, you can activate the sounds with this. And I want you to know that we only have the uh, 10 boxes like right here, and so it's very limited. And, but we always do, you know, throw these out with, into our stores anyway. So uh, tomorrow, Sunday activation. So uh, those of you who are looking for the, these items, uh, please check that, okay? So just a quick update about the, uh, you know, Ultraman Lube items, and thank you very much, all right? So we will continue our shows. I'm coming up more uh, Twitter questions topics.
coming after this. So uh, don't go away. I'll be back. Okay, so the time for the discussions, and now I like to just bring that in a topic about the、uh, the Twitter questions, and especially the one that Mr. Shirakura san and made it and here. Okay, uh, so uh, 
off the record, I mean, actually, this is not really the, uh, I'm not going to record it anyway uh, for the individual. But uh, I just still need to look for the uh, information sources. Um, so the comment over here, I really need that the first comment. Do you know where I can find it? This is the last one that he mentioned. I think this is include that, you know, uh, what he wants to do it. Okay, so uh, let me just look for it. I'm still lo need looking for the, his first tweet. Maybe he deleted? I've been looking for that. Okay. So that was October 18th. I don't really see that, you know, that there are any uh, first comment that he created. So uh, maybe I would just stick with this one here. There you go. Wait a minute. And let me just close that, you know, the window. It's very hard to bring it to the uh, all the two windows at the same time. So I will just create this one here. Uh, one second, okay. This one here. No, 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 no. Window arrangement is kind of difficult with this tweeter. Okay, there you go. to bring it no not like that I want that two ways one second yeah there you go got it I cannot <laughs> really make it out. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, so I think this should work. All right. And let me just bring myself over here. Okay, maybe this one. 
All right. Let me search. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Luis Kino seventy three. You know, I cannot find that his first tweet, and so uh, I've been looking for that his you know first tweet and, and how he went, how how the discussion went. But yeah, this is the something that we can talk about. This is the last comment, not last comment, but yeah, his he made that you know very positive uh, comment about this one here. Okay. And trying to create that, enlarge that, you know. Maybe I, uh, not sure, it's maybe the text is too small maybe, but I will try with this one here, okay. So, uh, let me shoot this one, okay. You do? You have the link? Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Not like that. <laughs> I'm messing up. Let me go back. Okay. And the tweet I need is, I need to open the different window. No, I cannot open it. What, why is that? Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I will open it anyway here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, this is the... All right, so how's that? Okay. No, so this is the question that started out everything here. Okay, so let's do this one here. Okay. Hello, Diami. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming. All right. So here we go. Okay, so everyone, thank you very much for being in the chat and helping me out for the, uh, the, the discussion that we are about to talk, start. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, thanks for the uh, help in uh, Wheelchair 21, Luis Kidder and Dayami Magna Rider Hype. And Six Shots is here, thank you. Okay. I like that, okay. And Dane is here too, thank you very much. So the uh, the discussion we like to just start it out is that I'm if you are coming lighter fans I'm pretty sure that you are aware of the, what happens this week, especially with the uh, the comment that you know the director of the uh, Mr. Shirakula uh, from the uh, Toei Corporations and he his he, actually his English is good I'd be just you know surprised and so uh, that heat heating discussion started with the uh, the question started from the uh, Dragon X Zero and he asked the, uh, the Mr. Shirakura do you believe that there is enough of the fan base in the West to release more Kamen Rider here? Now that's a very good question he asked to the, uh, the top. <laughs> okay, I really, you know, I'm very happy that he asked these questions. And then I just could not believe that in Mr. Shirakura Responded, all right, and so his response in reply was this: I believe there is no fan base of common rider in the West, practically. Ouch. Okay, so that's a the first. That's a first. His you know uh, comments that you know created that he talk topics about this one here. Okay. So, uh, so far it's got the uh, 45 retreat and 98 likes. And, and uh, many people just started talking about this one here, okay? And the same person that first asked the first, time, for, uh, first questions, uh, the Dragon X Zero, and say he replied it, if we could buy Blu rays with the subtitles legally, we would. Hmm. Okay. 
And so, uh, you know, the, this question, you know, many questions, you know, uh, throw into the discussions here. And so Mario Jeremy says that we are all over the growth, growing. I mean, uh, common light of fans. Yeah. We are in a, we are the another fans. And I have an English video review of the double driver with almost half a million views that disagrees with you. Okay. That says the yeah, TJ Omega. Yes, TJ is here. Wow. It is true. And then, uh, yeah, TJ Omega, you know, you know, the, the guy. And then uh, he's a very popular YouTuber and uh, he loves that, you know, coming like this. And he gets lots of view with that. And not just just only the, his videos, but the, the, his topics about the coming light of doubles. And so uh, many people just responded to this one here. And how about the uh, day uh, we have the six shot says, coming like the Dragon Knight is Shell Walmers. Okay. Shell Walmers. That, that's true. And Witcher 21 says, like Gazira, Gamela, Ultra, she's opened the door. Right. Yes. And, but when the Saba made attempt, Sentai took off. That was a good start. Metal Heroes were okay and lighter. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Nope. Hmm. So, what do you think? Okay. So the director, the top, very top of the toy, the productions corporation of the Kamen Lighters and Super Sentai's, and he made a comment about that, that there is no fan base of the Kamen Lighter base, and that's not very true, isn't it? You, I disagree. You disagree, right? And so many people uh, posted their opinions about it. Look at that, Zion Zexfer. <laughs> And yeah, he says that if there isn't, why are people uh, blaming me in the West as the sole reason why they can't get the common light of belts? That's very true. Okay. Yeah, he's still talking about that, you know, the, the light of belts, right? The corrections. That's true. Uh, there are big fans. And all, uh, I guess someone posted that my pictures, that's too. And so, uh, because that, uh, you know, Shia Storage International has been setting tons of the uh, coming light of belts and uh, related items for what? 10 years. And it was still growing. And so that's really, you know, proves that we feel, you know, at least that we, we know that that's a market is there and still and then growing more and more. And so, What's going on? Why not Toei is starting any international uh, common lighter distributions through that the Blu-rays or uh, even that their toys? Toei wants riders to meet the Sentai success. Wheelchair 21. That's very correct. That's that's really true. Toei wants riders to meet the Sentai success. But the Sentai already succeeded and they have the DVD releases uh, through the shout out factories, right? And Power Rangers has already grown up. And so can that happen in, you know, at in one night and takes a little more time to let it grow, right? But at least that, you know, they need, the toy needs that, the starting point. And they failed a couple of times. So what will be the, your good advice for them to start, you know, uh, to introduce well the Kamen Rider Shiris to the, uh, the Western countries? You know, Risky the 73 said, honestly, Kamen Rider deserves to come overseas as it, as it is. So the Luis Kido is suggesting that as it is, it means that there's no adaptations, not like a Power Rangers. I, I you know, I, I, I agree, actually, you know, uh, Kamen Rider series is very unique and to the, uh, you know, the Japanese cultures, I guess. And so there, there is some different approach required, I believe, 
you know, not like that the Super Sentai series though. So, you know, this is my kind of, you know, uh, my own theory, okay? All right? I'm not going to be, I don't want to be offensive to anyone, right? But I believe that the Super Sentai series is a very, very Japanese style with the with the own cultures, you know, the group work, teamwork. And that was a very unique uh, idea at the time. And in the, in the United States, well, about 20 years ago, and because the, the, traditionally the American heroes are singles. I mean, they don't work as a group. You know, you, you know that Avengers, right? <laughs> you know, Iron Man, and, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, other Thor and, and other heroes had very difficult times to work together. Well, they, they learned finally, of course, but, uh, American heroes, you know, usually just by them, them, them by themselves, but the, not the Japanese Super Sentais, right? So that was a very unique uh, ideas and culturally unique to the American hero cultures. So that was very well accepted, and then uh, the Saban took it, and so uh, just Power Rangers started out, and then it grew, you know grew up. So after the 22 years, now look at that, you know, we have. The uh, great fandoms and of the Power Rangers and also the Super Sentai fans at the same time. So, uh, the, what's the, what's going to happen with the Kamen Rider? What's the approach? And uh, someone, you know, uh, I guess some Luis Kidder or someone mentioned that the Blu-ray releases with the subtitles might work. That's one of the way too. And uh, also, but the, uh, to go back to the uh, Mr. Shirakura's comment, let me just uh, let me scroll it back. So that was the uh, first questions that he asked. I believe there's no fan base of the Kamen Rider in the West practically. And so it's, you know, brought that discussion to everyone. And then his comment, the decent comment, was very positive one. Okay, and that's the, uh, there you go. Okay, so after the, the long, you know, many people, you know, came to him and then uh, uh, starts to talk and starts to convince him that he, he is wrong. There are fans they're waiting for that, you know, that coming letters comes to the, their, their countries. And he said, actually, the people convinced very well. I've, I've been watching that, you know, you guys are comments and really nice, you know. Uh, and Mr. Shirakura finally says, okay, okay. <laughs> he said it twice. Appreciating the fans of Kaboom Lighter abroad. Honestly, we have been very conscious that. Hmm. Very conscious that. Except that the extent of Super Sentai fans and cause we know that adapting of Kamen Riders to the West has failed. He's referring to the, uh, what the Wheelchair 21, uh, you know, uh, mentioned that, you know, uh, they failed. Uh, was that, was that Kamen Rider Black Alex? Uh, okay, ouch. And they did a very good job with the uh, Dragon Knight too, but something happened. I'm not sure what happened, but the, uh, it's kind of faded away, huh? You know, I heard that, you know, the same uh, director wants to do the Kabuto in, a, you know, the American universe, okay? American, in American Kamen Rider universe. And then just never heard of that since then. So, and Mr. Shirakura continues that, you know, because we know that adoption, adoption of Kamen Riders to the West has failed again and again two times again he says why a super center had succeeded as a power rangers uh the, yes uh, the list of that and you know it <laughs> yeah six shot says i think kamen rider needed a different marketing not kids i think that's a very important point yes it is and because the kamen rider series has that very strong you know Fun, Japanese fans 
uh, not, not just only the children, yeah, they, they, like, they can love that too, okay, of course. But I noticed that, including myself, adults love the common lighters. And that's a very important part of that. And then uh, something that we need to, or the toy, to think about it and about the, about the marketing of this one. And that's a good point too. And also Witcher 21 says that he probably does not even care since in some interviews he mentions he doesn't really like the lighters because it's juvenile. Yeah, what's, it's not nothing wrong with the juvenile and you know, uh, everybody goes spend the time of the juvenile times. You know, you, I did, you guys did. Maybe some of the, you are still in that. And, and that's the market. And then he needs to understand it. Adoption of Black Alex and Dragon Knight. That's right. Yes. Yeah, Magnus Roy the Hype says something with the Ultraman. I can't forget about that too. Oh, the feel bad man though. <laughs> That's right too. Yes, it's uh it's that super, you know, super high productions, you know, issues, they have that the many different issues. Uh, you know, the licensing and then, uh, you know, who purchased that, who can, has the lights to use it in the different countries or something. But they have the uh, suing each other, you know, that was a mess too. So there are many challenges I, I see that. Yeah, Dane says, Kamen Rider should be aimed at kids and adults. Yeah, uh, not just only the adults market, you know, it, that, that's true. I agree with that. Uh, you know, it's there should be a balance. It's very difficult, I believe, because the Kamen Rider, you know, has the very kind of adult world. But if you go too far, you cannot put that on the, uh, the TV, the land TV, you know, distributions and too violent uh, you know you know that the common lighter amazons uh were introduced in the amazon primes or maybe netflix i don't know i'm not sure but they are not for the uh you know the, la the local tvs no not the tv shows so to bring that common lighter shitties as we like them to, and then uh, bring it as it is, as they are, to the uh, TV series in uh, Western countries. They are to buy or rent. Now, remember that you know Super Sentai one when the Super Sentai was introduced in a Western country, they got the you know a lot of pushbacks. You know, too violent and uh, you know children's. It's not a cartoon. So children cannot, you know, understand that the concept of the uh, difference uh, between the cartoon and the real world. And because that it's a live action, you know, some scientist or a doctor, or I don't remember that economist or something, they, they kind of put that warning that Power Rangers kind of dangerous to watch for the children, even that the Power Rangers. So when you think about it, you know, comment lighters, how we can approach that. So maybe really it's difficult, maybe two comment lighter shitties, one for the adults like Amazon did, and at the same time for the uh, more like, a, I don't say childish, but a, uh, more like a marketing for the uh, children's market, adapting them. And once in a while, maybe they can just do that kind of match ups and mush up and do that kind of special movies or something like that in the Western countries. I'm not sure. Yeah, the six shot says the problems if you put that the toys in Toys R Us, <laughs> Marvel, DC, Transformers, Ben 10, then come and I do left in the bargain sections. Good point. ERC Talk Reviews. Kamen Rider would be good adapted for an older audience as well. Like with the Kamen Rider the first and the next movie. Ah. 
Yeah, I remember then. And then what happened to that? You know, they just gone, right? And they did the one, uh, we saw the V3. And after that, you know, just disappeared. You know, that was a good series, actually. More, more, more like a violence. Yeah, more like a focus on the adult market. Near it, kind of, you know, close to the Amazon market. Amazon's, you know, on a... Uh, on Amazon's on Amazon's. Okay. Power Ranger and Kamen Rider are different universe. So adaptation in Power Ranger way a third time might be a risky. I agree with that, in my opinion, because if it ends the same way as the RX and Dragon Knight, the totally different approach needed. Not like that, the Power Rangers. No, different one. Six shots. Bandai does not print money. No. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't print the money. Yeah. Sucker mom sucks. <laughs> Sucker moms. Yeah. I heard that. Teenagers. Preteens. Amazons. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, if you think about it, you know, we have the kind of you know, opportunity to ask the uh, more wider audience that. Uh, this coming Monday, uh, we have the CS Lewis Toku Wave, and we're gonna you kind of you know bring that you know, kind of questions. So I really appreciate that if you can just put that the questions that are, we should ask. You know, uh, there are four options that you can you know put that four question not one question but the four uh, selections four you know answers. And so, uh, Luis Kira put that a good one. Uh, what was that, Luis Kira? You know, could you could you repeat that in here in Twitter, so people uh, no, no, I mean in the chat, so people can just look at that or what you uh, what you wrote about that. Maybe we just you know we can just edit it. Maybe they could use, they could try doing some uh, rider seasons in Amazon's way. Yes. With the, the less violence and for the adult audience. That's a good one. And I think Kamen Rider will work in the Asian market since that they are close to Japan. The US is different, is is true. Mm. Yeah, see we we it's not just about the uh the uh the toy, it's not just about the uh the T V programs, you know. We, are, we are just need to see it through the kind of filter, culture filters. You know, Asian country has the different cultures and then so is the West. You know, European countries and uh, maybe U.S. continent has a different, yeah, totally different cultures, okay? So depending on the, the, the venue or prices or continent, we need to just carefree, you know, uh, select that you know the uh, marketing methods to promote the uh, common lighter series and but also that's one thing interesting is that the internet connects everything so finally the uh, uh, mr. Shirakura mentioned something about this one here and he says okay let me just go back and then there we go. Where where did it go? Yeah, this one is good. And he says, Mr. Shiro, uh, no, uh, ani, ano ni neko, ano ni, ano ni shinki san. Okay. So this is the questions that he, uh, some other fans, coming like the fans, ask him. Open well, one of the, I mean, other devices. Open that the Toei Tokusatsu Fan Craft TTFC. That's that you know, that's something that you can subscribe to the their services. Uh, on you can watch that on the Android phone, iPhone, or iPad. And I always, I, you know, I always watch that you know, write the shows on this, you know, fan craft and the applications. Uh, open the Toei Toxas Fan Club internationally. I'm pretty sure that obtaining good translation for most seasons 
will be much of a problem. No, I don't think so. No, there will be more people very much looking for the, this service. So, Toei Tokusatsu Fan Club. That's, and then uh, uh, he said, I mean, he got a question. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. And the Mr. Shirakura respond, this, Mr. Shirakura responded to him. Here. He says, I'm sure it might be a, it might be breakthrough. It might be breakthrough, All right? So the uh, Toei Toxas Fan Club is right now, it's only limited for the uh, Japanese market, okay? So it, you, you guys cannot watch it uh, outside of Japan. So that's kind of, it really sucks, but that's what it is. And, and uh, it's all, you know, it's always, there's a, a money matters, a subscriptions and uh, challenges. Even that we have too, you know. Uh, from here, uh, you know, see, I'm running the online store. It's not that, you know, the services like the Toei Tokusatsu, but, you know, something that we cannot do here in Japan, that, but you guys can in the United States or other countries. It's not, it's not about the you know, common light or anything like that, but yeah, there are something like that, you know, to go beyond the boundaries or borders. Oh yeah, there we still have the, some challenges, you know, uh, something to just collaborate each other, works together to match that all the needs and the marketing and the cultures and everything. And, you know, to be united. So it, it's still its ongoing process. Yeah, internet is there, but still I can see there are in a many different kind of, you know, in a different levels, I can see that there are some boundaries, the borders. But it's, 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 it's time consuming, but it's still, I believe that we'll, we'll, you know, we'll find a way to gradually find a way to connect it to more services, more people, uh, people and something that we really like to watch or shop. Okay, Luis Kira 73 says, Access, accessing to the TTFC, Toei's uh, uh, fan club site, is impossible to overseas. I've tried once, no success. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, strange. But uh, yeah, that's how they, you know, use it. Because I, can, I watch that, you know, uh, those, you know, that services are coming light as on my iPad, iPhones right here. And it's quite challenging, I understand that. Yeah, Cosmic Star, right? Thanks for that. You know, so in other words, he might be thinking about it. Yeah, you know, that's a very good point, though. Uh, Mr. Shirakura says, might be breakthrough. So he says, he used the word might. Not the maybe, no. But he used that might. And also, but still, there is the breakthrough. So means there are some challenges that he have to just go through. So, yeah. So, yeah, at the end, you know, Mr. Shirakura is pretty much that convinced that there are foundations of common lighter foundations in the West. And that's something that you guys did that, okay? So, that's amazing work, you know? So... <laughs> It's how important that, you know, uh, we talk about it and, and grow that the communities, especially the, the you know, Tokusatsu community and how we want that, the services, how we want to be grow as the fan base. And we need to just bring that our voices and to the, uh, you know, the world, uh, you know. So, what we are waiting for. We need to do more, <laughs> right? Wheelchair 21 says, Kamen Rider would do all right on Toku HD. I don't think it could make it on Netflix or Crunchyroll. 
Ultraman didn't fail on Crunchyroll, more or less they didn't want to renew the shows. Ultraman has the different challenges. Yeah. I don't think you know, Crunchyroll did nothing wrong, but、uh, that was a good try. You know, I re- we were very excited for the、uh, Ultraman G, the Ultraman X. That was a great show. Enjoyed it. And、uh, you know, Ultraman O was just amazing. Okay. However, you know, they still need to work on that, you know, the, the concept of the Ultraman. So, hopefully, that they can just, you know, come up with, the, with the,、uh, new, fresh ideas. You know what? I really like that the Ultramans, that what they, at Subray Production, did that they once shot a、uh, movie. La- was it two years ago? You guys seen that? You know, the actual silver giant appeared that, you know, the Shinjuku, or was it Shinjuku? No, not Shinjuku, okay. Well, in, anyway,、uh, in the Tokyo, and then, you know, fight against the giant monster.、Uh, that was made of, completely made of the you know, computer graphics and the CG Ultramans, but Something I want to see that. You know,、uh, maybe it's not a toksatsu anymore. When, when, if you create the Ultraman with the CG, you know, 100% CG, not really recommended, but at least there is something that we look for. You know, so I thought that Ultraman World will do something great with the、uh, CG, you know, Ultramans. I hope that they can do that, you know. You know, just, just another, another opinion. But anyway, the Tokusatsu,、uh, we'll move on. And then,、uh, well, you know,、uh, evolve、uh, more. Maybe with the more CG technologies and, you know,、uh, more suits actors, you know, something, collaborations. Okay. The show may work. Toys wise may not work, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Six Shots, and that's where the CS Toys International comes to. <laughs> no, just kidding, okay? But uh, yeah, uh, toys is a different topic. You know, it's very sensitive ways too, okay?、Uh, the older country has the different toy regulations, but you know, it's, it's a henshin belt, this might be a good one. Lucia73, how would we love to see the Kamen Rider making steps in overseas? That's the question I've sent to you. Yeah, that's right. Yes, like a Blu ray or internet or something like that. Yeah. I, I, I need to take a look at that, your questions once again. ERC Toku Reviews, I will try to do a YouTube thing, just need costumes. Right. Nelson Angel, welcome to the show. Thanks for your comment. Marketed well, Kamen Rider would do well if they pushed the Super Sentai brand on Netflix. Okay? Like, hey, we have that original. If you like that, check out the Kamen Rider. It all depends on how they push it. Right. Once they introduced it anyway, you know, maybe they just. Make it come back. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Marketing. Everything is about the marketing. And then,、uh, do we like that to be marketed? Okay. That's the thing. How we want us to be marketed as a consumer, you know, what we like. I think it's, it's、uh, understanding. Kamen Rider world,、uh, you know, understanding more about the Kamen Riders might be a great hint for the, each of you, each of us, to, you know, make that, that this quite a ch- big challenge. And why do we like it? What's so special about that? What is so different from other heroes? There are many heroes. Yeah. 
What is, what, what is so special about that? Super Sentai is good. Yeah, we enjoy that too. But Kamen Riders, uh, that's a little bit different stories. So that discussion will continue, I guess. But it was great week uh, for, I would say, it was it has been a great week for the Kamen Rider fan, fandom uh, in the West of, as, as, as well as the Japanese version, a Japanese one too. But, uh, you know, at least that Toei starts to look at you guys and look at that, you know, how the Kamen Rider will be accepted and in the Western world, and they will do the more a little bit over the research. And well, I just we need to be ready uh, for the Toei or Bandai uh, to, you know, say that your opinions about the, the, why you like that about the common life is what is so special about it. Total non-stop action impact. That's a good point too. Yeah, that's a challenge too. Total non-stop action impact, and which means that you know, total non-stop violence. <laughs> not, not, not. You know, I don't want to be negative, but yeah. At the same time, we have to just think about that. So that's quite a challenge, you know, isn't it? Actions, violence, it's it's in the same world. Okay, so anyway, uh, thank you very much, guys. And then uh, I will just go through that, that your uh, questions later on and use it as a hint uh, for the uh, Twitter questions that we're going to make it tomorrow. And they're going to use it on the this coming Monday, CS Toys Toku Wave. And so we'll see what's going to happen with that, okay? All right, so I really appreciate that your participations, and I can see, let me just call out your names here once again. Uh, Mark the Writer Hype, Dane, and Nelson, EL Shitoku Reviews, Risk Killer, Six Shots, thank you very much. And also a Cosmic Starlight EX, James James, hi, welcome to the shows. Thank you. Leonard is here. All right, hello, Leonard. I hope I didn't miss anyone, okay. Thank you, guys. And then Dan says, I wouldn't mind doing a documentary movies around the Kamen Rider. It would be cool to show the rise and fall of the whole jump. Interesting. Luis 73 just let Toei work on it from now on. Uh, they will need times to think about it and no needs to almost trash talk then and like it was done with the uh, Mr. Shirakura. No, yeah. Oh, uh, let's give them the times, of course. Yes. Oh, now, all the respect, Mr. Shirakura is a gentleman, I believe. And then uh, he, at least that uh, he give us the uh, kind of hint. And then, uh, you know, he take that, he's, he dis dis listens to the uh, founders. And that's a good start, all right? So uh, let's be patient, all that. And so uh, we all look for the uh, scene that the common Lighter fandoms. I mean, the common Lighters in the Western countries and more. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. I will just wrap up here and then I'm moving on to the uh, next demonstration. I'll come back with the uh, one more demonstration. Okay. So uh, one moment, I'll come back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so thanks everyone. I'll come back for that, you know, more talk. Thank you.
Okay, so today's last demonstration, it's gonna be the uh, loose item, pre-owned items too. And so uh, this is the DX Bakuryu Gatai Avaren O is here. And I'm so happy that I found these items and it's really nice items. Cream, and, and uh, I don't see much, you know, uh, the damages at all and no scratches so far. And so uh, it's complete items. Okay, so uh, items comes also, of course, to do with these three Bakuryu Tyrannosaurus and Bakuryu Torikera Tops over here and also uh, Bakuryu Pteranodon. Okay, so and so uh, I like to just show that each of that and then oh, and I also like to mention that you know, it comes with instruction and the mini pamphlets. This is kind of interesting, okay. It says Secret File Volume 1, all right? So it's a it got kind of, you know, history chart. And toy catalogs. And here's a Secret File Volume 2 is coming, huh? <laughs> Not this time. Okay, so let's try that. And... All right, Dan, good night. Thanks for coming. So let's start with the uh, small parts and the Pteranodon maybe, okay? So this is the Pteranodon and I hope that you can see the details. It's really clean, isn't it? You don't see, you know, rust. You know, sometimes we see that, that these, you know, the metallic, metal parts or uh, has the kind of some last, but this one, no. It's still cream, shiny, really pretty. See that? And the other side. Okay, so it's really nice. And so uh, let's get ready for the uh, Got Tai one, okay. So uh, first and then. All right, so just bring that uh, his legs, I mean, uh, head parts. Okay. And the wings go like here and fold it. Okay. And put that uh, his helmet, you know, uh, is here. And the helmets needs to be wow, well designed, isn't it? Helmets needs to be the, his legs. Beautiful. Okay, so that's ready. Now let's go for uh, Bakuryu Torikeratops. Okay, Bakuryu Torikeratops. This is it. And so this one, you can, you have noticed that, that this part is the heavy, and I believe that they used the kind of gokin, the uh, special alloy, the cho gokin here. Look at that, pretty, huh? This side, really nice, and. Uh, take a look at that, his face here. Good condition, isn't it? And all the, his legs are here. You don't see any rust on the, these, you know, uh, nail, uh, the screws. Yeah, I will check that drill straw. One moment, okay? But anyway, uh, so let me just take off that. And here comes the weapons. Okay. So I just keep it for now here. And this part will be the shield. 
And here, it's a small part. Now this, something that I've been keeping it, <laughs> okay? And uh, I remember that, you know, that store uh, per salesperson at the local store, he said that he put that the price, you know, he, he, he said that he's missing, uh, that uh, he's missing that it's just, you know, connecting part. So, you know, didn't come with it. And, but I know I have that this piece. So it's now it's complete, okay? All right. So you can just connect it like that. Triceratops. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> we have the river here, so he can just move that, you know, his thorns. Cool. Okay. Now, for the uh, preparation for the gut tie. All right. And so I would just, you know, install that his legs like this. There you go. And he's ready. Now, let's go for the, this big guy. Wild, huh? I really like that his designs. Though. All right, so back to Tiamosaurus and his jar. Good. Okay. And look at that, all the details. His face. Clean, huh? Beautiful. Look at that, you know, metallic parts. Shiny. And silver painting parts. There's no uh, war, wear or anything. And his small, tiny hands. Okay. Oh, here's the another uh, metallic parts. I think they used that. No, this is a plastic. This is a plastic one. But it's nice painting. Look at that. And the drill, of course. Okay. So this is a drill part. Look at the painting. Nice. Okay, we will test that in electricity later on, okay? One moment. <clears throat> All right, so uh, he needs to be get ready for the uh, transformation. All right, so uh, let me just work on that and we just uh, close out his jar and his legs needs to be straight up. Okay, like this. There you go. And install that his tiny arms. Okay, install. And bring down the armor on the side. And open that in the top armor here. And do the same thing with the, uh, the other side. All right, and so the armor needs to be here. Okay. Rocked. Okay, so. Mucho toca. Okay. All right, there you go. Attached. His legs ready. Now, uh, his top upper parts. And then, 
turn that. Okay, so bend that the leg parts. And then his legs also come straight up. And then here we go. Connect it. Okay, and then he needs to rotate the bucker parts. And here we go, the his drill. Finally. Okay. So he's ready. Everyone is ready for the final gut tie. So gut tie to the other end O. Ready. All right, so the uh, putera body goes to the front part. So we have the connector over here and connectors over here too. So we all connect there. There we go. Okay. All right. And the head part, Tirano's head part, goes up. And this is a very interesting part. Okay, so bring that to the front. There you go. Yep, okay. To the front and bring it down. Now we need to open the top cover and bring down his head piece there. That's very clever that he is hiding that his head part there. And now we need to just push that the his head parts a little bit back so the head pieces can attach to the connector here on the top. Okay, there you go. All right, so it's connected. Now we close that cover. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, Torikera is right here, and it's gonna be the his right arm. Attach to it and the helmets. He's gonna have it, it goes on the top. All right, made it. So, this is the uh, Avareo complete. Table. Beautiful set, beautiful. Now we're going to test that at those, you know, motorized power. Okay, so now we need to check that his back. This is a battery cover. There you go. So look at that, the clean terminals. No battery leaking or anything like that. It's beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna use that. Make sure to use that, you know, the clean, you know, the brand new batteries here. One and two, okay. And close it. There you go.
So, where's the power switch? Power switch is on the shoulder. So it looks like we have the uh, on and off both side. Let me just push that this one from front to front. It works. Really powerful drill. Now let's go over the backwards. Okay, so it works. Now, allow me to just transform just a little bit uh, with the, his weapons. Torikira uses the, becomes the, his weapons as well. So, uh, Torikira tail and Torikira shield. All right. And now, uh, we'll actually just bring that. Torikira tail. I mean, yeah, no, not that. <laughs> Tirano tail. And this both uh, needs to be attached. Okay, and no, this way. There we go. Bring that, those ravers down. There we go. Becomes the one piece. And he can grab. Here's his hands. Okay, so try not to turn that <laughs> drill now because that it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay, because is that look at that his punch. Okay, so you don't want that mess around with the this you know sword with the drill turning. Okay, it's kind of heavy one. So there you go. All right, and then go for the shield and this side and you need to bring that his handpiece here okay there you go so Torikyo shield comes with the uh, this small unique parts which we have been keeping it right so we need to, he needs to hold it right here all right and there okay so Torikira shield is ready. Actually, it can go swapped. Oops. All right. This way here. And the shield, not the shield, but this here. There we go. So, here it is. Kansei Abareno, okay? Beautiful. All right, so let me just turn down with the music.
All right, so thank you very much, everyone, for watching uh, this demonstration and Abarengo. Here we go again. It's a beautiful items, uh, pretty owned, and all the everything parts comes in perfect conditions, and it's the motor works and, and uh, really beautiful items. So I hope that you can like the, this items, and uh, we are going to sell these items this coming month. I mean Sunday, actually tomorrow, Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. So. Uh, Hope that you can just you know, check us out and, and uh, like that this items, okay? So, uh, and also I want you to know that we have the uh, some great selection of the uh, pretty old toys, the uh, Kira O's and another versions actually. Another version of the Avalon O is also in our stores too. Right now we are doing that, uh, you know, the 50% off sale right now ongoing and actually it will, will be ending tomorrow on the 21st Sunday, and we'll have to end that you know, 50% off uh, sales for the uh, selected pre-owned toys. And including that, another version of Kira O and also uh, Abaren O's too. Please check that at our you know, uh, special site and look for their 50% off sale and you can easily find it uh, at our stores, okay? So thank you very much everyone for being in the chat for a long time and this is the last recording for today. Now let's go for the uh, our lucky draw time after this. So uh, well, join us and find out the lucky persons. All right, thank you very much. I'll come back. All right, so time to wrap up today's shows and thank you very much everyone and well, it's time for the lucky draw now and so uh, well, here we are, okay? We <laughs> actually, we have lots of the orders this week and wow, <laughs> look at that, so many tags. So, uh, the someone going to be very lucky and we are distributing 500 discount code that you can use it at our stores. So. Uh, let me just look for that. And these tags are from our lucky, I mean, not, not lucky, but the, our orders. So you can see, you know, right here on the uh, left side, and uh, we can see all that, you know, all those items that we packed and already shipped out. They comes, in the e they comes with the each unique invoice numbers, which, you know, uh, you have it if you are a customer, okay, <laughs> right? So uh, we pack and then I shoot the pictures before and pack before uh, before the packing and after the packing. 
And at the same time, we use that in you know, YouTube lives as well. And we shoot that videos, entire packing process, and then open for in public. Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> okay. But, you know, I think it's very important for the customers to uh, see how we treat your items and how that we pack and, you know, how we send it out. So that's what we have been doing the last 10 years. Wow, I cannot believe that, <laughs> okay? But it is true. Anyway, so we use that, that these, you know, tags, uh, invoice number, handwritten tags, and keep it for every week, keep it in a safe box like this. And so we select one lucky person, someone here, so many. All right. There we go. Oops, I dropped the one. Yeah, Pokewood Theater asking, you know, Mr. S got a little of the gold box that he used to use. Yeah, it's pretty busted. <laughs> okay, I still need to fix it, but uh, we need to get the old and the new one. Okay, this is just a temporary right now. So uh, here's the numbers 1784. Uh, no, sorry, 17834. 17834. Congratulations to you, and you just won out a 500 yen discount code. Now, let me look for it. One seven eight three four. Oh, that's pretty close. Seven eight three four. One seven eight four two three eight. Where are you? Three four three four. Come on. Okay, so let me just reload it. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, all right. It looks like I need that to type the numbers. One, seven, eight, three, four. There you go. Hello. Oh, there you go. And 17834. Can I find it? That's strange. Okay, let me just do that one more time. 17834. My search engine is acting kind of funny now. Okay, uh, 37, 36, 35, come on, 34, bought it? <laughs> I don't know where he is. 31, 36. Oh, you know what? I think it's in a different one. Aha, uh -huh, now I know. Because we use the two packing table. <clears throat> now I know it. Because in one of that, you know, uh, camera was not working well. And then uh, we took the picture over here. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> okay. There. One seven eight three four. Congratulations. And uh, we just you just won that, you know, upside down. Here. Okay. One seven eight three four. And the item is what is it? Okay. There you go. One seven eight three four. And you got the uh Light watch Dizer, congratulations. Okay. So, uh, we'll be sending you the 500 discount code very soon. Okay. So, thank you. All right. 
made it. <laughs> okay. All right. So thank you everyone for being in the chat for a long time. Otsukare sama deshita. Until Monday, mata ne. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, everybody join that, you know, uh, if you have time. And so join that uh, next Monday's Shia Stories Talk Wave. And we'll be posting that, you know, the live stream link onto our website. So you can join and especially send us that your music request too. And so is that uh, we can, you know, do that on the lucky draw. Okay. All right. All right, so ELC Talk Reviews, ciao, and welcome everyone. I mean, everyone, thanks for the joining, and so uh, I'll talk to you very soon, okay? All right, take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Johnny. <laughs>